G'day, Stu here from UAB Futures and welcome to another episode of Tech Tuesday where every Tuesday we look at some new technology coming up in the FPV scene. Now what we've got today, this is the XSR F4PO and that's a lot of, lot of initials but what this is, this is a little all-in-one board with a built-in flight controller and built-in PDB and XSR receiver. So, if you're one of those guys who flies around on Tyrannus, which I would say arguably is the most popular radio system in the mini quad scene, this one might be for you. Anyway, let's stick it on the bench and get started. Alrighty, so here it is on the bench and it's a bit of a strange shape when you look at the bad boy. You can see this is probably the normal size of most of the flight controllers and stacks that we're used to. This one, it's a little bit bigger. So it's about 60 millimeters long, so it's gonna mean you need to make sure when you're putting this in the right build, is this one gonna actually fit your quad? So the first thing I wanna mention is this thing is absolutely high quality. The finish on here feels amazing. Like the, it definitely feels like it's got some sort of protective coating or something over it. And all of these pads, you can either solder to the top or the bottom. So uh, I think that's really useful. So it should make it easier to fit into our build because that's something you're gonna need to take into account because look, it's not that traditional shape, so it's not gonna be fitting all our builds. But if you've got the right build for it, I think this thing is gonna mean an absolute space saver and I really like the integration of what we've got in here. Now what we're going to do, let's stick it on the scales and see how much it weighs. So it's coming in at 14 grams which is exactly what it says in the manual so it's nice to know that that's accurate but it's not like Free Sky to be overstating or understating anything. Free Sky I think is a pretty stand-up company as far as they're going in the FPV market. Now look it's a pretty simple device. What it is, it's an F4 flight controller, it's a PDB and it's also got our receiver built in. Now there is another option out there without the PD bar and I'll I'll link that down below but this is the one I've got so it's got those three things and traditionally look that could take up to three stacks you could have your PDB on the bottom you could have your flight controller on top of that and then you could have your receiver so I really th think this thing on the right build like I mentioned is going to be saving a lot of space now one of my favorite features about this we're going to go around all the pads in a minute but at the back here you've got some nice big pads to connect up your battery leads and this thing can take up to a 6s battery so if you're going to build an absolute I don't even think 6s is a race monster 6s is just like flat out insanity speeds. It's probably much more than most pilots can handle. Most people are flying around in 4S, but it is nice to know if you want to go crazy and a big cuckoo, you can definitely do that with this bad boy right here. Now going on to the rest of the pads, so you can see these sections here, this is for your positive and negative, you know, your grounds, for your ESCs and your voltage, and also your signal, so that's for motors one, or I should say ESCs one, two, three, and four. There's not too many other pads, but I will flip it over because we've got a whole bunch at the front here, and this is where there's some really cool stuff. So these to right here. This is where your beep is going to go. Next to that, this is for our LED strip. This is a ground. This is for your smart port. Another 5 volt to power some things. This is where you've got your video outs and all those sorts of bits and your video in and then finally a ground on the outside. So look, it's pretty simple and I do think if you wired this thing up correctly it's going to make for an ultra clean build. Now if we flip it over, you can see we've got a bunch of other pads as well. One part I do like right here, this is your little, I guess, SD card reader. So if you want to do some black box logging or anything like that, that's going to be pretty cool and then we've got a USB port on the side which is nice you do need to make sure whichever way you're mounting this make sure this is sticking out to the side and then you've got your little bind button because there's quite a lot of things going on in here so the PDB part, the pads aside, we still have an F4 flight controller, which is pretty cool, because F4 is sort of like the current current gold standard, what most pilots are flying around with nowadays. I was quite happy with F3, but look, F4 is even better. We do have our little bind buttons, because it's got our XSR in here, which is a great full-size receiver. So if you're flying around on the Tyrannus, you're going to be having a great time with one of those bad boys. And it's also got incorporated into that F4 flight controller, you also have a beta flight OSD, which means you can get things like great, you know, you can get set up your OSD to have voltage timers, a whole bunch of stuff. The beta flat OSD is becoming more and more powerful and I think nowadays having an OSD in your quadcopter when you're flying around to relay all that information back to you nice and easy is an absolute must. And one feature I do like, I like how they've gone back to using these little connectors right here. They should put some hot glue or something over. A little bit more glue there would be nice. But if you've ever cut your antennas up in the field and you've got some direct solder one, it can be an absolute pain to try and cut them and try to re-solder them. So it's so much easier if you can just get to get some of the spare antennas, clip them on, and then you're ready to rock and roll. Because I think you can get a set of them for like 10 for five bucks or something like that. With this little port on the end, so you just plug it on, you're ready to rock and roll. No more having to direct solder because that was a big pain with the original XSR. I didn't like how the antennas were direct soldered. Now look, I think this is a fantastic product. I love how they're shrinking everything in here, combining everything. I think it's going to make for some super clean builds in the future. But I do have to wonder, like the XSR, fair enough they're putting those in, but FreeSky is also kind of 
I don't know if they're sort of doubling up on some stuff, but they're getting some really small receivers coming out now, like the XM Minis, all that sort of stuff. They're for us full-size receivers that are absolutely tiny. So I'm thinking maybe it'd be better off if they just stuck to making F4 boards or they can incorporate some other stuff because, uh, you know, it's kind of, it's one thing to have an XSR built in here, but if it's only taking up a tiny bit of room with some of the new FreeSky receivers, I don't know what, what's the point, especially when this isn't going to fit all our builds out there. If you've got the right build, it's going to be great, but if you've got some of those other receivers, you might be better served with just a normal F4 flight controller. Alrighty, so there it is. There's my Tech Tuesday quick look at the XSR F4 PO, so many acronyms. And you know, overall, I think it's a pretty cool all-in-one solution. I like how they're incorporating a receiver into your flight controller PDB. The finish on this thing is absolutely amazing. And I love that it can take up to a 6S LiPo. So I think a lot of people are gonna find use for this. FreeSky makes some of the best stuff out there and they've got a massive following for everybody using the Tyrannus. So it's great to see, you know, them incorporating their receiver into their flight controllers. Now, is it gonna be for everyone? Even if you've got a Tyrannus radio, I'm gonna say no. It is a little bit more pricey, and uh, the fact that you have such a strange shaped board, like it is pretty big here, it's not gonna fit all builds. Now, even though you've got things on the top, pads on the top and the bottom, Overall, I think you really need to do some careful planning. It's going to be fantastic for those frames where it fits well, but it's not going to be for every frame. So definitely think about it before you get one. Plan your components out and think, is this going to make my build easier or is it going to make it a little bit more convoluted because it's, you know, a bit larger than our standard stack size. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Drop some comments down below. What do you think about Text Tuesday? Make sure you hit that bell icon because I'm putting out videos every Monday. Tuesday, if you guys like Text Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Fridays, we've got our question and answers. Tons of videos and if chance are, if you don't hit that bell icon, you're probably going to miss them. Anyway, on that, subscribe for more FPV related content, and as always, happy flying. Maybe drop some comments down below too. What would you like to see on Tech Tuesdays? Do you like these episodes? Because they're sort of something I'm thinking about bringing onto the show. Anyway, happy flying.